Welcome back everybody to another spreadsheet tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the mid function. We will be using numbers for the Mac. However, for the most part, this should work pretty much the same in Excel, Google Sheets, and LibreOffice Calc. A quick definition. The mid function returns a string value consisting of the given number of characters from a string value starting at the specified position. The mid function takes three arguments, the source string, the start position, and the string length. So let's jump right into our first example. This example is going to be kind of a easy cookie cutter example. So let's say that you have a pattern that applies to all of your strings, where you have three numbers or characters before and after the square brackets. And then in between the square brackets, you also have three characters. And what you want to do is you always want to go ahead and pull out those three characters in between your square brackets. So for our first start position argument, that first square bracket starts at position four. So we have A is 1, B is 2, 3, 4. However, we need to add 1 to that to get the first character after the square bracket, so that would be 5. Now, as we mentioned, in this example, everything's going to be the same, so the string length will be 3. We just want to pull out the star, the 1, and the 5. Let's go ahead and pull up our mid function. We'll put in our source string argument, start position, string length. Now when we hit the check mark, this should pull out or extract what's in between those square brackets, which will be star 1, 5. Okay, so we got what we expected. We're good to go on that. Now what if you have strings that look like this, where everything's different, but you still want to pull out everything in between those square brackets? Let's go over an example of how to do that. However, before we start here, one of the main things that can help you do this and make sure you always get what's in between those square brackets, even when everything varies and the characters and the number of characters will be different, you want to be able to reliably find the string length no matter what it is. So to do that, let's go over some examples here. To find the string length for what's inside your brackets, you want to go ahead and find the positional number for your end bracket and then do the same thing for your start bracket and then you want to take the end bracket minus the start bracket minus one. Okay, so let's use our find. What do we want to search for? We want to search for the end bracket in this source string and this start position argument is optional and we don't need it. Okay, so you can see if you start over here on the left and count over to this end bracket, it is in position nine. Let's do the same thing for the starting square bracket. Let's put in our find in double quotes, put the starting square bracket in our source string. We don't need this optional argument. And you can see this starting square bracket is in position three, one, two, three. Now we can take this minus this minus one, and that gives us the string length of what's in between the square brackets. Now you can see here what's in between the square brackets. We have ABC, so that should be a count of three. And here we have one zero, so that should be a count of two. So let's go ahead and drag this down and we should get three and two here and here. Okay, three, two, we're good to go. So this is what we're going to use for our string length in our examples here. Okay, so to find the start position, we're gonna go ahead and use the find function again. So we wanna go ahead and find the positional number for that star, which is the first character after the square bracket. So let's go ahead in double quotes, put the square bracket. The source string is here. We can get rid of this. However, we wanna go ahead and add one to this. But before we do that, let's just show you. If we start at the H and count over, one, two, three, four, five, six, the space counts as six, and then the square bracket is seven, we want the first character after that. So again, we need to add one. So that gives us the correct start position. Now, for the string length, we're going to go ahead and do what we did up here. So let's use find. We want to find the end square bracket first from this source string minus the find start square bracket positional number from this source string. Let's get rid of that argument. Now we need to go ahead and subtract one here, but let's just go with this and see what happens. So now let's use our mid function. Let's put in our source string, start position, string length arguments. Hit the check mark. 
And as we said, we needed to subtract one, so there should be an extra square bracket. And we'll show you what that does, and then we'll go and fix it. Okay, so we need to get rid of this square bracket here. And to do that, let's go back into our string length formula and subtract one, check mark, and now we're good to go. We have pulled out or extracted what's in between the square brackets. Okay, so you can see that these strings or text are different. However, we've set this up so it should go ahead and work regardless of the number of characters before or after the square brackets or what's in between. So let's go ahead and copy this down. And in this text we have star 1544. It pulled that out correctly. And then here we have star 15 ABC ampersand star and it pulled that out correctly. Okay, so now let's go over one more quick example where we put everything in one cell. So we want to go ahead and pull out what's in between these square brackets. So let's use our mid. The source string is here. For the start position, we're going to use find. And we want to go ahead and find that first square bracket. Again, the source string is the same. We can get rid of this argument. And remember, we need to add one to this so it starts with the first character after the first square bracket. Now, for the string length, we want to find the end square bracket or the positional number for the end square bracket. Same source string. We can get rid of that. Minus, we're going to use find again, the positional number for the start square bracket. We can put that here. Same source string. Get rid of that. And we need to subtract 1. So if we've set this up correctly, we should get the star 1-5. Let's hit the check mark, and we get what we expected. We're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and test this and put some more characters in between the square brackets. And let's go ahead and copy this formula down, and we should get star 15 ABC. Okay, so that looks good. We're good to go. That's all we have for this spreadsheet tutorial on the mid function. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.